UK Sandler from Homeschool UK, and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite math resources. It's called the Rec and Rec. It's a Dutch math tool, which means numbers on a rack. And that's what we have here. The Rec and Rec is designed to teach children how to subitize, which means to recognize numbers in a chunk, in a group, and not having to use one-to-one -one correspondence, not counting one object at a time to see how many objects there are in a particular grouping. So um, the Rec and Rec is, is developed, is designed to develop number sense in children, to help them understand exactly what numbers are made up of. So if you look here, you can see we have 10 beads on each rack, five white, five red. So automatically that is working on your number bonds to 10. When you begin to explore with it, which I recommend for younger children, just let them play with it, you will start to see that if you take away four beads, you're left with one. And so five must be made up of a group of four and a group of one. If you can't count one, two, three, four, or rather the idea is to move away from counting one, two, three, four. If you know you have one here, then you must have four left. So by exploring with the Rec and Rec and by making numbers with the Rec and Rec, it will work on your number bonds to five and number bonds to 10 and all the way to 100 when we move on to the big Rec and Rec later on. So using the Rec and Rec to build numbers, if I want to make the number eight, I could count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight using one-to-one -one correspondence. That's the first step, that's where we all start. The idea though is that I work away from that, that I can use chunks of numbers to make the number eight. So I've counted my eight and I slide them over together. You don't want to slide the beads over individually, you want to move them in groups to develop this supertization that I was talking about, about the grouping of numbers. When I become more confident with the Rec and Rec, I can use supertization. I can take five straight away because I know that all the whites on the rack make five. So there's my five, and then I only need to count six, seven, eight, and then slide the remaining three. Or I move over my five, and I can just see that there were three. Or I realize that if I've only got two left, then I must have moved over three, and that's going to make eight. You can use the Rec and Rec to build larger numbers as well. I want to make 14, I can slide 10 across. I can count the 10 beads individually. I can recognize that 5 and 5 make 10, but ideally I should just know I'm making a number, a teenage number 14. I'm going to start with 10. How many left? 4. I can count my 4. I can count 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and slide it across. Or I should notice that if I'm moving 4, I'm only going to have 1 left. And there you go. I have made 14. We can move over to the larger Rec and Rec to make numbers all the way to 100. So if I want to use the Rec and Rec to build 36, I count by tens, 10, 20, 30, and now I need to make six. Well, I should know because I've been using my Rec and Rec for a while now that six is five and one. And now I've just made the number 36. If I want to make a number that's larger than 50, I won't even have to count by tens because I can see that this is where the colors change. We no longer have the red beads first, we have the white beads first. So if I wanna make the number, let's say I wanna build 77, well here we go, automatically there's my 50 gone, then I just have to count 60, 70, seven is five, and two more, and there I have made 77. Thank you for watching my introduction to the Rec and Rec. In my next video, I will be showing you how to use the Rec and Rec for addition and subtraction. Thank you for watching Homeschool UK.